what is up everybody the hunter gt with the hunter gt.com that's right go check out the website what is going on today we are out here in the middle of nowhere southern california that's all i get to tell you that's all i'm gonna tell you super private secret spot here with my good buddy greg v out here hunting this spot hopefully it gives up some indian heads some silver it's a pretty darn good area he just showed me a ton of finds we'll probably we, we i might get him to show you off uh show off some of his finds that he's found here in the last year or two not this spot particularly but around here some fantastic stuff indian heads galore v nickels galore so pretty excited he's rocking his mine lab equinox over there i got the nocta macro simplex i got the amphibio in the truck as well so we're gonna be rocking this you want to pick one of these bad boys up who are you gonna call well me of course i am a nocta macro dealer love to have your business email me at the hunter gt.com and let's talk pricing on a simplex amphibio cruiser and impact all that good stuff all your nocta macro needs the hunter gt.com the hunter gt at gmail well without further ado i don't want to wait anymore he's got a head start on me so shut your face the hunter gt Let's go find us some old turn-of-the-century stuff. All right, first find of the day. Right there. Yep. And this is the sort of stuff we're going to be dealing with today at this site. Big, round, hollow stuff. Just right there. I mean, that was just it was just sitting right there like that, basically. So right on the surface. That'll overload the coil um, for sure. Yeah. It's just uh, gonna be one of those days. Hopefully we get some good coins though. All right, well I got my first coin, yay. However, it's just a clad memorial penny. I can't make out the year, but we know it's 59 or later. It's not a wheat on the back. I'll take it though, it's a penny. That's a sign of things to come for the day. Don't mess with that. Part of a Ouija board. Ouija, Ouija, whatever you want to call it, the mystifying oracle. That's where the little clear plastic thing goes in the curved part there and sees through to the letters and numbers. Yeah, probably not something you want to play with. Um, you know, probably not the best idea to uh, try to reach to the other side. They're on the other side for a reason. We're on this side for a reason. Yeah, one of those days. I found a clad dime. What year? Oh, of course, 67. Three years off. Three years off from a silver rosy. Come on, man. It's getting a little ridiculous lately. My last video, I had four 60s dimes. Four 60s dimes, all of them non-silver. That, that, that's, it, it's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. And surface fine. An earring. Yeah, that looks gold, yeah. Gold, it looks like a gold earring. Yeah, I'm not sure though. I'm not sure if it's play or not. It looks pretty shiny. It's not heavy though. Uh, it's got some weight. I almost want to bend it to see if it bends. Yeah, crazy. I don't think there's a marking on it anyway, but right there, sitting on the ground. I don't know if it's gold plated for sure. For sure, gold plated. Bonkers. Sit right there. Eyeball find. Cool. 1903. Indian head penny right here my second one ever thanks to Greg <laughs> Greg Vittoria for uh, bringing me out here oh man we're gonna get more though we're, Come gonna, get we're more. gonna get more hunter and some silver and some silver Sweet. today I'm yeah. leaving with the silver too all right there we go that's not nice. too big of a wish list nice super thrilled super thrilled right now <laughs> man oh, I'm happy. all right oh let me get over to wireless off so you guys can hear it 65 that's what that last indian head rang up 64 65 and look right here 91 92 we might have something cool here we might have an indian head and a silver quarter or something red wouldn't that be something wouldn't that be something let's find out yes this might be the greatest detecting day of my life i found another indian it was an indian head another at 1903 i had to really rub the date off it was pretty crusty when i first pulled it out a 1903 another one back to back 03 indian heads look at that so it's still got a little bit of patina not patina but like shine to it man they come out of the ground looking nice over here i ground balanced at 55 over here i ground balance at like 90 over in fresno 
come down here towards LA and I'm ground balancing at like 55. It's bonkers. Great dirt. It's great dirt. Look at that. 1903 back to back Indian heads. This right here, unfortunately, not a quarter. It's some sort of metal plate right there. It's huge, whatever it is. Definitely not a quarter. Oh well. Another Indian head. Yeah, boy, my second and third Indian. You know how long it took me to find my first five years almost, and now I just found two in one day. I'm, I'm stoked, guys. Uh, I'm super happy. Thank you, Greg. Wherever you're at back there, Greg, back in the eucalyptus trees, thank you. We move spots, as you can see. We move spots over here to this new area. Thank you so much, Greg. What, what a great host. What a great host to turn me on to a site like this. 79 right here. 80. Pretty shallow. I'm in park mode. We're by this little gully down here now. Um, like a little river type thing. All the eucalyptus trees are way back in there, down over there. A couple Indian heads back in there. Greg just called out a weedy over here. What year did you say? 1917. 1917. So I'll go get a snap of that here. Um, but we're going to dig this one so I don't lose it. Right there. The race is on. One wheat, two Indian versus two Indians. I'm whooping his butt. I'm whooping his butt find out what this is eh, clad dime 2000 that's no Indian head oh he thinks he has another weedy let's go check yep another weedy another one another weedy right here 29 1929 nice nice there we go, 29 weedy. it's funny cuz I looked at this and I went you know this looks like a pl place that I would walk yeah yeah yeah. So probably right all in here, right? Oh, all through here, yeah. I think they were camping. Here's a trail that goes right down here. Horse tracks. We, we just saw two horse riders ride through. Fresh prints right down through there where I just dug I just dug that one right there along this little trail. So yeah, I bet you people camping right here, fishing right here in this. You know, this creek. So what he told us was this thing used to run year round back in the day and there was fish in there. Yeah, yeah. And then they started getting these big horse ranches and they pumped all the water out of the creek. Okay. So okay. That's what happened here. Somewhere. Yep. So I figure kids playing back there fishing back in the day dropping their Indian heads their silvers let's go find them one over here and it's you know that little teeny screen yeah another weedy for Greg 26 nice there we go right there and then a Jefferson 40 19, what 1940 1940 back over there so right along this shrub line here and we're right on the trail so hunting each side of the trail basically see behind him there there's a trail going out into the horizon so pretty cool horse tracks fresh horse tracks right here and everything good stuff yeah, yeah nice job nice Thanks. job oh, you boom right there wheat penny look at that green on the back just right there. i mean one inch down one inch down it was a 71 i didn't put it on film because i didn't think it was going to be a uh a wheat <laughs> so like i said the older wheat pennies they ring up like zinc pennies from the teens and 20s they're going to read up like a zinc penny and this was in between i knew it wasn't an indian head because those are 65 i knew it wasn't a copper like a memorial copper because those are 78 on the id this was ringing up 70 71 on the id so it kind of threw me for a loop actually i figured it's just going to be a bottle cap or something like that but a 23 wheat penny and greg right here with his F70, he just popped out a 22, we think it is. We can't make out the date on it, but a 22 right behind us. So we're hitting some nice coins back here. Indian heads, wheat pennies, man, this is good stuff. Old ones too, from the 20s. Good, good, good. Oh, my heart skipped a beat right there, man. I'll tell you what, it really skipped a beat. I thought that was a ring of some sort, an old ring, turn of the century ring or something, but it's like a bearing inner bearing housing or something like that i don't know what it is uh crap All right. a little scratchy but we'll see it's a little high 68 67 strong tone though it's something real shallow one dot down yeah i think it's big though getting double hits and uh i don't know we'll see i'm skeptical right there right there look at that look at that ah oh, it's a zinc penny the heck out of here the heck are you doing out here 
2000 and something or other. Doesn't even matter. What are you doing out here with all these Indian heads and all this other stuff? Get out of your, stay in your lane, zinc. This one rang up as a 74. So 78's a normal wheat, you know, a normal penny. Um, like the 40s and 51s. So they'll ring up like a 78 on the ID. This one was a 74. I'm digging it anyway, especially out here. I mean, there's so many good coins already that we've dug today. So I'm de definitely not, you know, I'm not cherry picking today. I'm not cherry picking or anything like that. So a 20, what did I say it was? 27 right there. Nice and green on this bad boy. It was good too, about mm, three, four inches right there. Maybe another one. It's a little iffy. 73, 74, double hitting. Let's dig it. Let's dig it live. Let's dig it live. Let's see. What do we got here? Let's see if we can pinpoint it. Right there. It is right there somewhere. What is it? What is it? No. Yeah, it might be big. It didn't when I pinpointed it. Yeah. Maybe not. Oh, there it is. It's right on the side. <laughs> I missed it. It was sitting right here. Yeah. Like that. So, what That's do we got? Good. Um, a 20. Another nice. wheat. Another wheat. Yeah. Yep, nice. real shallow. Real shallow. 1920. On that one so yeah they ring up a little lower guys you, you, some of these old wheat pennies don't miss them because they're not ringing up like a 78 on your simplex like all the other pennies and dimes do um, the modern wheat pennies like the 58 the 44s the 45s those range are all gonna ring up higher 78 is gonna be the ID most likely but these ones here and the earlier ones they can ring down into the 60s break just hit another weedy 27 27 on that one Nice. Yeah, they're everywhere back here. I mean, mine was just right back there. And then we hit another one over here. And another one, yeah, I mean, it's just littered with, right along this trail. Right along this trail that curves all the way back this way. And all the way back up over that way. Good stuff. Good stuff. Zinc signal. 65, 66. So it could be an Indian head. Let's try to see if we can pinpoint it and dig it here. It's pretty shallow, whatever it is. It's right here. It's right here, whatever it is. Oh, did I see it? I see it. I see it. I see it. And it is a zinc. A zinc. Dagnabbit. I guess they can't all be Indian heads. Now you see why we're finding some old stuff over here. All right, they got it fenced off. Look at this thing. Look at this old building. That's super old, man. That's pretty darn old for California anyways. Pretty darn old for California. That's why we're finding turn of the century stuff. All right, Greg just called me over. He's rocking the F70 with that small coil, that three by six concentric coil on there, a little sniper coil. He's been doing darn good with it today. Yeah. He's got a buff, he's got some wheat pennies, and I think we're gonna round it off today with that bad boy right there. Look at that, an Indian head. What year? 04 it looks like, 1904. Good job, nice. Man, what a heck of a day today, right? What a heck of a day, holy cow. A dime penny signal. A couple inches. Three or four. Let's find out. Yeah, just a clad dime. We're going backwards. We're going backwards from Indian heads and wheats. We don't want no clad. Not at this spot. Alright, a little promising. Promising. 63, 64, 65, 66 range. 
Wind's starting to pick up, sorry. We got two rings and a dot. Let's find out. Zinc penny or Indian head penny? Oh, well, it is not the third Indian head for me. It is a zinc, a crusty one. Look at that thing. Look at that. That's ridiculous. You know, in 20 years from now, metal detectorists, they're not even going to be digging these. These are all going to be just corroded and gone, poof, into dust. And it's just going to be Indian heads left. 20 years from now, they're going to find Indian heads no problem. 30 years from now, because there won't be any zincs. They'll all be corroded and gone. Unless we're still making the stupid things. All right, guys, here we are wrapping it up. Here's Greg's find for, finds for the day. He got five wheat pennies, one Indian head. Look at that buff right there. Look at that buff. Nice. And then a 1940 nickel. Some clad right there. A couple little buttons. Nice. A little button right there or something like that. Sweet. Some clad right there. My pile right here. Got the little fake. I think it's real plated, but I don't think it's solid gold or anything like that. Nobody's dropping that. Uh, some clad, clad pennies right there. Six of them. Some zinkers and all that. I got five dimes, a quarter, two Indian heads right there, and three wheat pennies so there's the there's the pull out shot of everything right there nice a great day greg thank you so much for having me out here no and uh, gonna do it again tomorrow guys instead of the simplex i'm gonna be rocking the amphibio tomorrow i may break out the simplex for a little bit and uh just to put it in the title for those views i mean uh, that's the way i am that's the way i am so all right guys without further ado the hunter gt and greg signing off from this great location i will see you on the next video